I figured I would do a different uh, type of video instead of the typical uh, uh, male video. Um, so we've all got the dreaded to watch pile because sometimes you know you have a job and family life and everything like that that can get in the way of watching movies and of course the constant influx of you know ordering movies and getting movies in so it makes it even more impossible to watch everything and that is the dreaded to watch pile so I'll be doing you know maybe a series of videos on videos that I still need to watch movies that I need to watch or TV shows that I still need to watch so first up I mean I've got a ton of collection of these psychomania but this is the BFI edition of Psychomania. And it's pretty a hefty case. And you get a ton of bonus features. And it's double disc. So that is one of the things that I need to watch from the two watch pile. Uh, next up is the new Kickboxer movie, Kickboxer Vengeance. At least it does have uh, Van Damme in it, and it also has Batista in it, and quite a few other well-known people. And then the next one I need to watch is Star Trek Beyond. I still haven't watched this. I heard some mixed things about it, but you know, I like the new Star Trek series. It's always been a pretty good series, or at least for me anyway. And then I have the Tales from the Dark Side complete series. Yeah, I wanted to get this, you know, definitely because, you know, I really enjoyed this series growing up and everything. So, that was definitely one of them. Now, a thing that uh, most people have mixed reactions with is the Friday the 13th. This is the complete episode or well, complete season I think it's alright I mean I think what sort of ticked a lot of people off is you know it didn't have Jason or had anything to do with you know Jason but you know I still thought it was okay and then next up is to have gun will travel I mean, I've only watched a couple of episodes from this, but it's definitely a good series. If you haven't, you know, seen it or purchased it yet, it's definitely something you need to check out. And then next up is Sliders. I mean, I've seen this so many times I don't really need to watch it, but it's one of my all-time favorite shows, and I can watch this every day. It's a really good show. And then next up, Knight Rider, the complete series. Definitely a series I need to watch more of. And then next up, this is the, the Long Good Friday and Mona Lisa. Um, it comes together in here. I guess it's sort of like a digipack type of deal. Um, I've always liked uh, Bob Hoskins. Yeah, he's to me a very underrated actor in my opinion and both movies are excellent uh, even though I haven't cracked this open I've seen the movies a long time ago and I remember liking them and then next up is the American Horror Project from Era Video um, I still haven't cracked this open uh, but I will eventually you know I'm probably gonna wait till like part two comes out if a part two comes out and then next up is the people that time forgot uh, haven't watched this yet but I've been meaning to um, I forgot what the hell that company is called I know it's put out by Kino Lorber it's I think it's supposed to be like a company before or during the same time as Hammer I can't think of the name right now but yeah, I've seen this a long time ago, and the one before it. Odd Thomas, I still haven't opened this up. Uh, Bad Man's River, uh, I love Lee Van Cleef.
and also have the other one that uh, Kino released. I don't know why this is in here, but I have uh, opened this and have watched it, of course. Can't wait till both of the box sets come out. Uh, next up is the Ghostbusters, uh, the remake or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, this is the extended edition and this is the steel book. The Hills Have Eyes. I still haven't popped this open and yeah, this one has the fucked up cover. And Batman the Killing Jug. I have watched this. I've uh, watched the other version that I've got because, you know, I wanted to have this as like a collector's edition. Uh, Remo Williams. This is from Twilight Time. An awesome movie. Nine to five. I did watch this in the uh, Remo Williams, but not the Twilight Time. Which that one is the Twilight Time. I still haven't uh, fully watched the series, um, but this is the one that I'm just keeping as a limited collector's edition. You know, keep it unopened. Uh, the Birds. Of course, I've seen the movie before, but I haven't popped this one open. Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze. Yeah, I definitely love this flick. It's one of his classics. And it also comes with a decent amount of bonus features. So I definitely need to check this out sometime. Night of Living Dead. You know, a zombie flick. Haven't watched this yet, but it seems like it'd be pretty cool. Hell yeah, it's got Ray Wise in it. Uh, Haunted Honeymoon. Of course I've seen it, but I haven't popped this one open yet. Warcraft. I haven't seen this yet. I mean, of course, I know a lot of people shit on this movie, but I haven't seen it. I like to judge movies for myself. And I haven't opened up uh, the new release of Carrie from Screen Factory. Thankfully, they put a ton of bonus features. The Mark of Zorro, starring Tyrone Power. Yeah, I also need to get more of Tyrone Power's movies. And this is just an extra uh, slip cover. I am not a serial killer. I still haven't checked this out yet. Really need to. Phantasm Ravager. I still haven't watched it. I have watched this edition of Phantasm and they did an excellent job. I mean, regardless of all the shit talk people do of Wilgo USA, I think they did an excellent job on this. I haven't watched uh, the 30th anniversary of Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer yet. And it comes with some special features. And I haven't opened up this edition of Assault on Precinct 13. A John Carpenter classic. If you haven't seen this movie, you definitely need to check it out. I haven't watched Screen Factory's Child Child's Play. And last but not least, well not last, but The Burning. This is the Arrow Blu-ray steel book. I have watched this movie uh, a while back, but it was from the Screen Factory edition. And next up, The Conjuring 2. I still haven't watched this yet. And Screen Factory's Manhunter. I still haven't watched this. I don't know why it's in the stack, but I have watched uh, Night of the Living Dead remake. It says uh, Region B, but it's all region. Hired to Kill. I still haven't watched this, <laughs> but I do like Brian Thompson. He's a pretty cool bad guy. Uh, he was also in the very first uh, Terminator movie. 
this edition of pieces even though the arrow video edition is getting ready to come out I still haven't even opened this up yet the hollow I still haven't watched this I've heard good things about this Jeepers Creepers 2 I haven't popped open yet but of course I've seen the movie uh, batteries not included I love this movie still haven't popped this open but I do remember this flick and remember liking this movie addition from uh, of course to Takashi Miike but uh, this is the Arrow Steel book Bloodbath I still haven't watched it yet And here's another still book edition, and that is David Cronenberg's Shivers. Uh, this is the corrected edition. I still need to check this out. This is probably one of my all-time favorite David Cronenberg flicks. Uh, the Flash. You know, I've watched the non-special edition version, but I haven't opened up the still book edition. The Green Room, I still haven't watched this yet. Venom. I forgot who the hell directed this. Alright. Oh, Pierce Haggard. But yeah, that's a Klaus Kinski movie I haven't watched yet. Batman vs. Superman, I have watched it and opened it. I thought it was okay. Bite, I still haven't watched that yet. <laughs> the Invitation, I've heard good things about it and I still haven't watched it. I got this for a good price at Walmart, of all places. The Legends of Tomorrow. Arrow, and of course I've seen these seasons, but I just haven't opened up these editions. I haven't watched Synapse's edition of Basket Case 2. Probably one of my all-time favorite cheesy type horror flicks. And the movie I still haven't watched yet is Suicide Squad, which I definitely need to do sometime. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope maybe it inspired y'all to make a similar type of video. So I've got some more videos coming. If y'all like this video and maybe want to see more, give a thumbs up. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.